Good morning, everyone. This October is, in fact, a good month to have Domestic Violence Month. This is a month that we remember and acknowledge the impact that domestic violence has on our families and communities as we do every year. But this year, this year is a little bit different. This year, this month, in fact, next week, we have an opportunity that, to show that California state government has not turned its back on the survivors of domestic violence in California. We are working very hard in the Senate to pass Senate Bill 3X13, a bill that restores the $16 million that Governor Schwarzenegger cut from California's domestic violence program. A cut that will result, as we know, in numerous domestic violence shelters being shut down if Senate Republicans fail to act. I want to thank Senator Yee for his leadership. And I want to And I want to thank Senator Corbett as well for her leadership and Assemblymember Ma and the other members who have worked so hard to bring this important measure forward. The assembly has already acted in a bipartisan basis on a bipartisan basis to restore this funding. Senate Democrats already have voted in September to save domestic violence shelters. It's now time for the Republicans in the state Senate to stop playing games and put up the votes to restore funding that will save lives. <laughs> California's women especially the women who have been subject to violence that no one should ever be subjected to, should not be held hostage by political games. We're talking about thousands of domestic violence survivors. To be frank, this is a program that shouldn't just be saved, it should be expanded. A survey last year showed that over 700 Californians were turned away from services because of short staffing or lack of housing. But the long road must start with a single step. And that step is to restore the $16 million and to do so next week, no later. Thank you very much.